Gregor Brown, this Sunday, April 18th, the Amstel Gold Race returns after a hiatus in 2020. We are going to get into all the nitty gritty details of the Amstel Gold Race in this show, which is brought to you by our friends at Zwift. Gregor, you're going to be on the ground at Amstel Gold. Tell me what we're in for. Well, I'm just curious if, you know, as of in 2019, we're still getting Amstel Gold beer in the press room, Michael. It's like a lager. It goes down smooth and they give it to you in these little cups, like 25 centiliters. So they're perfect after a day reporting on the race. So I look forward to those. Hopefully COVID restrictions, they don't cut out those. We're in for a circuit race essentially because uh, this race is back after uh, two years. They didn't have it in the 2020 edition. Normally it meanders out through the uh, Dutch countryside there and it's, it's crazy. They crisscross everywhere, do these climbs all in the countryside, but now it's back for 2021, a circuit of 17 kilometers, three climbs. That includes the Gul Hemmelberg, the Bemmelerberg, and of course the famous Kahlberg finish uh, climb. And those three climbs will be in the 17 kilometer circuit and uh, the men and the women are covering this circuit every lap and the women's race will stay the same for their final lap and the men's race will cut out the Kahlberg for that kind of more flat finish into the finish there at Valkenburg where it starts and finishes near Maastricht, home of Tom Dumoulin and it's in southern, uh, in the southern part of the Netherlands. A beautiful, we should have a beautiful day of racing ahead of us, Michael. Yeah, Gregor, you're going to be happy uh, about the weather report. It's going to be much nicer for you than, uh, than Shell Dupree. We saw you shivering at the finish line there. So it should be a nice, pretty fair, a little bit breezy day of racing on this new circuit for 2021. And don't despair, even though we're not going to see the expansive Dutch countryside this Sunday, it's going to be a long, hard day for both the men and the women. Uh, the women are racing 133 kilometers. The men are racing 216. And yeah, like you said, just like in 2019, the men and women race different finishes. Same in 2021 with this finishing circuit. The men are not going to be finishing up the Kahlberg. The women will be finishing up the Kahlberg. And if this plays out any uh, way like it did in 2019, I think that that's a wonderful decision by the race promoters. Um, because honestly, both races finished in very unique, but incredibly exciting ways. I think that we all know what happened in 2019, but just to go back and refresh, Cassianui Adoma attacked up the Kahlberg, time trialing away from Annemiek van Vluden, who was just gaining on her, um, so you go up the Kahlberg, it's along about a kilometer time trial to the finish line. So really, really tense. Uh, just flat out finish for the women. And then the men, they're going to race up the Kahlberg something like 11 times throughout the day. They don't, uh, they, they don't need to do it um, one last time. Keep in mind when the men did finish on the Kahlberg in the past, it kind of just became the Philippe Gilbert show where he would just attack, nobody could follow him and he would hold it to the line. Uh, I think that omitting the Kahlberg on the final lap for the men really opens the race up. You don't really know if it's going to be a reduced bunch sprint if there are going to be ones and twos like we saw in 2019 with Matthew Vanderpoel eventually sweeping them all up. It, it creates a really, really unpredictable finish for the men uh, and really takes away any incentive to just wait until a final climb. There are going to be lots of points to attack throughout the entire race and especially on this final circuit. So it should be a quite thrilling day of racing in the Netherlands despite this um, just circuit format that we have in 2021.